This demo will look at report filters. I will demonstrate how to select two report filters from a sales report. The report will be set to run on the last day of every month and be outputted in PDF format to a folder on my laptop. To begin, I will select single for Power BI. I will choose the Power BI account I want to use and the report, and I'm going to do a sales report. And click next to save that information. The schedule is going to run on the last day of every month, so I'll select monthly. I'll check this option, and I will say on the last day of every month. I will then select next to save that information. This is the settings tab. If you want to change any information on the default settings, you can do so by simply clicking and over typing. I don't want to, so I'm going to accept the defaults and select next. This is my report filters tab. To add a report filter, select add and type in the table dot column where the information is stored. This is case sensitive. And the first filter I'm going to use is the sales executive and it's a string and I'm going to pull the information back for this person. So I will add. Now I'm going to use a date filter. So I want to select add another filter. And again, I put in the table and the column, and this is actually numeric, so I will need to change that here. And I'm going to pull this information back for the last four years. Up to the present day, let's go for 2019 and add all of that information. I will now click next to move on. This is the refresh data sets option. If you want to refresh the data set before running the report, you may do so here. I'll click next. Destination, I'm going to output this to a folder on my laptop. And it's going to be in PDF format. For more information on PDF options, please view the PDF demo. Next, to save that information, this is our exception handling tab. For more information on exception handling, please view the exception handling demo. Custom actions, again, for custom actions and how to apply them in a schedule, please view the custom tasks demo. And click finish to save the schedule. Now the schedule is finished, I'm going to right click to execute so I can show you the file that it creates. Okay, the report is finished. Let's go and view the actual report. Here it is. And you can see here we have the report for this sales executive for the years 2015 to 2019.
Christian Stephen Software. Bigger data, better business.